Good afternoon. Well, businesses across the country suffered huge losses due to the pandemic. There's one business the president says he won't help with the bailout. Now New Mexico's governor is calling on the public to try to help save the Postal Service. Here's News 13's Gabrielle Burkhart. Before the coronavirus outbreak, the United States Postal Service was already losing money. Now the local postal workers union tells me it's in worse shape. The letter volume has dropped off tremendously. And uh, because of the businesses closing down, the country shutting down, it has affected the post office in a, a very negative way. Ken Fajardo, president of the American Postal Workers Union Albuquerque chapter, says even though package deliveries are up, USPS relies heavily on the sale of postage and product services since it doesn't receive tax dollars for operating expenses. And since more people now correspond online, total mail volume is still down. Plus, Fajardo says the requirement to pre-fund retiree health care costs at $5.5 billion a year means they're losing even more money. But securing financial aid has turned into a political battle. In April, President Trump said the Postal Service would need to raise its package pricing with companies like Amazon for him to sign off on any relief package. If they don't raise the price, I'm not signing anything. So they'll raise the price so that they become may be even profitable, but so they lose much less money, okay? And if they don't do it, I'm not signing anything, and I'm, I'm not authorizing you to do anything. Governor Lujan Grisham took to social media saying the Postal Service could run out of money by the end of September, and losing service, especially for the state's rural communities, she says would be, quote, disastrous. The governor urged people to sign a petition in support of federal aid for the Postal Service. Back to you. Okay, thanks, Gabby. Now, USPS employs about 13,000 workers in New Mexico and Arizona.